<sighs> Not okay. The wheels are only taking like a week or so to actually get here, but man, it feels like the longest fucking week I've ever had to deal with. Yerk. Yerk. That exhaust leak though. I can't seem to ever win with the uh, the exhaust leaks, but tomorrow I'm dropping the car off at Lou's and hopefully they're just going to fix it and I'm never gonna have to deal with it ever again. That is my hope. So this weekend coming up is one of me and my friends' absolute favorite car shows of the year. If you guys have never heard of it before, it's called Wolfsgart. It happens up in Northern Vermont, up in Essex Junction, and it's a three or four day event. You go up there, you camp out, you have an absolutely amazing time. It's a party at night and a car show during the day. They have the Wolf Run, which is like driving the back roads and everything with all these Euro cars, and it's so much fun. Um, that's this weekend coming up. We're leaving Friday in the morning to head there. We're trying to get our cars ready. I'm not gonna be taking a car because it's a Euro event and I just feel like going to hang with my friends. So I'm gonna be riding with Nate in his Audi 5000, but we're just trying to get all our cars ready for the show, for the four and a half hour drive up to Vermont. The past few days we've been trying to get Steve's Audi fixed because he did some brake work to it and it, uh, ended up backfiring on him so we've been trying to fix that for the past couple days and nothing seems to be working so I'm heading to the shop right now gonna help him with that tonight also gonna slam the ever-living hell out of that car and uh, it should be a lot of fun and a good video and I just hope his car gets fixed because it's a really cool car and uh, it deserves to be going to Wolfsgard so I'll see you guys in a little bit when we get to the shop one more thing guys I wanted to say before we get to the shop MPC Motorsport has given me a percent off code for you guys to use. If you guys use DIVINE in all caps on MPC Motorsport's website, you get to save 10% off of anything on their website. Has to be in all caps, just so you guys know, but I wanna to touch up on that. The link to all of their parts is in the description. They make absolutely amazing parts for Civics and a bunch of other builds and cars out there. So if you guys are interested, link is in the description. Thank you, and uh, I'll see you guys when we get to the shop. I had to stop and get a little monster on the way. Chris Sang pulling up in his new Civic. Things fucking nice. But uh, Steve over here, we've been going at this thing for a couple days now in prep for uh, Wolfscart. Wolfscart! Wolfscart! And um, it's just kind of been one thing after another. And uh, we're hoping tonight is the night that uh, things start happening. Is that actual? Is that actual size? If you guys actually remember, those springs are off my car. He has a set of BCs in his car right now, but they don't go low enough. So he asked me if he could have my, uh, my stiff springs off my coils. That's right, I fucking bought them. He bought them. He, he actually did, though. Um, to put onto the BCs so that it would go lower. And uh, the rear, he's got it all jacked up right now, but the rear is like, <laughs> the rear is absolutely insane. Hopefully we can get it back on the ground tonight and we can see what that looks like because the rear is, is just like, is what I would want if I was to stance this Audi. But right now he's doing the front BCs, he has to crack the top collars loose and adjust the preload because these springs are like four inches shorter than the springs that came on his BCs. So right now he's just taking the whole front assembly out. He's got the BC laying right there. And uh, he's got to fit these little four inch boys or five inch, five, five inch springs five. on a nine inch spring coilover. This is, here's, here's comparison. So, yeah, he's got quite a bit of adjusting to do, but it's gonna get him low. That's, that's what I care about. That's for true. Is that a fucking TDI? So Nate put a mod in this car so that he can roll coal really hard. And, uh, huh? <laughs> Jesus.
So we just spent like the past hour getting the driver's side front BC back together put in. I just have a really weird setup with the upper control arms and everything, so it, it takes a little bit more finagling than we're used to, but... Like a bagel. Yeah. Um, the other thing that we're here for is Steve's brakes. He did the A4 to S4 uh, caliper conversion and put all of those on. And um, for some reason, his brakes are not bleeding whatsoever. So we've tried bleeding it multiple times for hours and hours already, just didn't film it. Um, we are led to believe that it's the master cylinder. And so last night we went and picked one up, but we couldn't do it last night because it was too late. So once these coilovers are put back in and everything, that's where we'll be jumping to next. And hopefully we get some headway on that because I want to see this car at Wolfsgard because these wheels are absolutely sick on this car. Don't believe, if you don't believe me, wait, because when they're on the car, they look absolutely fire. What kind of wheels are these? M Technicas? B Beticas. Bem Betica? Bem Betica? <laughs> I guess this is like a, a rare color, isn't it, Steve? Like one out of three or something? Yeah, they only uh, made three A4s in this color this year. And you have one of them. I'm fucking it up. <laughs> it's sick, though. It's sick. No, it, it is. It's cool. I really like it. Yeah. One of three, boys. I told you. Four. My Old master face. cylinder. Huh? Yeah, maybe. New master cylinder. The uh, brake line that goes into it to bench bleed, it was too small, so we have to go get some. Yeah, but, I cut uh, it off by car. Rest, 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 rest. Yeah. There's, a, there's an S4 over there somewhere that he was going to build, but that's probably not going to happen anymore. Going to build the 5000 instead because it's prettier. <laughs> It's a it's a good it's a good choice. So we're gonna go and get brake line that fits. And uh, sure, go ahead. All right, what is up, guys? So last night we really didn't get too far with the A4 because the master cylinder that we got from AutoZone, because AutoZone is the way it is, uh, turned out to be for an S4, and the uh, the shafts are different sizes, so we couldn't use that one, and uh, it sucks. So today is round two. We're gonna be heading back there tonight, hoping that we can get a little bit more leeway and progress done on the car so it is ready for Wolfsgard. Steve ordered a new master cylinder from Audi because he works at Audi, so he got an OEM one. He's gonna try and bench bleed it at his work. Um, still a few hours until he's out of work and we can head over there, but right now I have my appointment with Lou's Custom Exhaust and we are going to fix the exhaust leaks on this car because they're bad. You guys know how many times I've tried to fix the exhaust leaks on this car, it just doesn't seem to work for me. So I'm just gonna have someone else do it. They were able to swap out the resonator when I got this exhaust and it's been fine ever since. But the problem is the catalytic converter uh, gaskets are a little shot. So he's gonna hopefully swap some new ones in and we'll be good from there. And then after that, we can head to the shop and try and get Steve's Audi done for Wolfsgard. So I'll see you guys when we get to Lou's. All right, boys, just showed up at Lou's. I'm not going to film any of the process because I feel like I've done so much exhaust work to this car in the past couple months that it's just boring. And plus, I don't want to make them feel weird with me in there filming. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hopefully, this finally solves the exhaust issue because I don't think that I'll be going stupid well again once these wheels arrive. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so back from Lou's. Exhaust is all set. I'll show you guys how it sounds. Nice, quiet, no leaks. So now that that's taken care of, uh, we're gonna head back to the shop. I think Steve and Nate will be there and uh, we're gonna continue cracking on with the uh, Audi because we've had some uh, some issues and we're trying to get them resolved for Wolfsgard. So I'll see you guys there. All right guys, so yesterday we were here and I think the last thing that we touched off was we were trying to bleed the master cylinder. Turned out that that was the wrong master cylinder and we needed to get an was it an A4 one? Like the one we got was an S4? It's just two style brakes. Yeah, it was It was uh, for the different style brakes for this car, but um, Steve was able to pick up 
the correct one today, OEM from Audi. And uh, the first thing that we did was we came here and we bled it and it bled super easy. And uh, we're hoping that that was the issue. So next step, we're just gonna throw it in the car and uh, continue the bleeding process. And I can only hope, fingers crossed, that the master cylinder was the issue. I think that it is, and everyone else is pretty much certain that that's what it was. Um, so yeah, we can only hope. Hopefully we can get the brake system bled tonight. We can get the wheels on. We can lower the car down, see how it looks. It looks sick. I've seen it, but I want you guys to see it too because these wheels and this color combo on this car is just like, it's very cool. Okay, so update. Um, we've been doing the master cylinder for, well, ever since we got here. Um, we bled it, we bench bled it, it was fine. Put it in the car, bolted it all up. We uh, started to attach the lines to it. One line went in fine, the other line cross-threaded. So unfortunately, this master cylinder is bad since it's aluminum the whole inside is all stripped out now and the line won't stay in so we need to get another master cylinder which everything is closed right now so we obviously can't do that tonight but to end this video we are going to put the wheels on and we are going to jack this car down so that we can see what it looks like with the wheels on and i've seen it obviously it looks fire and uh yeah we're going to throw the wheels on and uh show you guys what it all looks like Now this car has the springs that was in my coupe. Uh, we took the uh, BC springs off and we put them on this. So this thing is gonna go low and it's gonna look really good. Is it stuck? Um, yeah, it's still stuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you still need more wood, but, uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what you think? Damn. You're gonna have to raise it. <laughs> I need a big-ass space out front. <laughs> Fitment's a little, uh, a little off, but... Hey. I have to pee. <laughs> I'm keeping that in. B-roll. <laughs> Even though we couldn't get the um, the whole brake system done tonight because it's just one thing after another after another, at least it's on the ground and it can move. We're hoping that we can get this all taken care of tomorrow. Um, we want this car to come to Wolfsgart, obviously, because it's a really nice car. It's a one of three in this color, and uh, it would be really cool to see it mobbing all the way to Vermont in the mountains in Wolfsgart. So. Um, it's on the ground, we're pushing it forward so that we have some room to get some cars out for something you guys may see in the future. It has nothing to do with me, but it has something to do with a very good friend of mine. So you will see that on his channel if it actually happens. I am not gonna say anything, but unfortunately my battery's at like 7%. I'm gonna leave this video here. The next update on this car, I'm not gonna film if it actually gets done or not, but I will Include it obviously in the wolf scar video if it actually does make it and I really want to see it go So I'm gonna leave this video here guys leave a like comment if you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one